This One Degree Outside video is brought to you by Fiesta Shows. This holiday season, experience the magic of the celebration of lights. Drive through over a mile of glittering road transformed into a wonderland of color with more than a million LED lights in the Merrimack Valley, South Shore, Central Mass, and Maine. Now through January 3rd, save on tickets and enter to win at fiesta.1degreeoutside.com. Pattern predictions here at the One Degree Outside Weather Network looking out across the next two weeks of weather. Of course, you can always get the 14-day forecast, at least by the numbers, through our app, right? It's the One Degree Outside Weather app on the App Store and Google Play, and we are streaming this video. Some of you tap into this at all different times, but we are recording it on Monday, November 17th. It'll be running throughout the course of the week as we look out to the next half month, but Smart TV online and our app is where you can find our streaming network. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it and show you what's going on. First of all, again, we talked about this last time in Pattern Predictions average first date of snowfall still not until December for folks who are far enough south of New England. Many of the rest of us have seen a little bit, although we're talking about 0.1 inches, a tenth of an inch or more out of that chart. Meanwhile, when we look at the height to 500 millibars, the average temperature through a deep column of the atmosphere, the colder colors indicating lower heights, which means colder average temperature. Well, certainly we've been in a deep trough or a dip in the jet stream that basically has allowed this pool of colder air to be across the northeast and eastern Canada. Let's see what happens as we play things out. You're going to see that start to relax. One disturbance that comes through at midweek brings a chance of showers, particularly south of New England. Then we look for another disturbance to come in as we get toward Friday. Raises the chance of showers again. Does this bring a good installment of cold with it? Well, it brings a shot of cool air, but notice you never get into that real kind of deep cold pocket like we've been in recently. So in other words, overall in the coming weeks, we see relaxing of the cold. Not to say there won't be any cold shots. As a matter of fact, as we get to the end of the two week period into the beginning of December, you can say, well, there looks like there's some cold that's trying to build in here again. Yes, but overall, the average temperature through a large part of the atmosphere across the country tends to warm over the coming two weeks. You see that play out at the jet stream level as well. Actually, as we play things through, it's still an active jet stream. There's multiple disturbances. You still get dips in the jet stream that allow for these shots of cool air to come in behind disturbances. They go by. But notice also that we start to see some fluctuations. So, for example, as we get out to the end of the month or beginning of December, December 1st, look at this southerly pointed jet coming right up into the Great Lakes, right? You know that means that you'd likely see some mild air ahead of it. I don't think that we should look at every one of these days as verbatim. We know that's not going to happen over the next two weeks. But I do think we should look at the pattern overall. And the pattern prediction here is to find the cold relaxing, is to find the atmosphere, at least in general, starting to moderate or turn a bit milder across the lower 48, and to find the jet stream riding farther to the north. Now, interesting, that does start to bring Pacific moisture into play, which means these will not be totally moisture-starved disturbances that come at us. If we look at the surface temperature forecast and the difference from normal, with the blue indicating colder than normal and the red indicating warmer than normal, notice that we're not done with colder than normal yet, right? As we head to the upcoming weekend, we get one shot of chill that comes into play. But notice also that while there's another shot of chill that comes in as we get toward Thanksgiving, in between, we're getting some of these reds and oranges. In other words, we're breaking a pattern of being colder than normal all the way through and finding some times when warmth will make incursions into the eastern United States. It oftentimes will come as disturbances come in, which raises the chance of raindrops over snowflakes for at least a lot of New England, maybe the exception being some of the far north country. When you look at the average high temperatures for each day, though, you say, well, gee, this does not look like something that would be necessarily warmer than normal across the board. And it's not. But one thing I would say is when we do these pattern predictions, I also try to tell you what to watch for. I'm willing to bet that as we get closer in, some of these warmer days will end up even warmer than currently predicted. The cool shots will remain cool shots, but those warmer spells may increase as we get on the front side of some of these storms and a southerly wind may increase, which means you'll want to watch for some temperature rises in the forecast on some of those warmer days along the way. The overnight low temperature is at least cold enough as a New England average that a lot of the ski areas that have started blasting the snow guns, we'll be able to continue to do that and add to the man-made snow base anyway, which is going to help because there's not a lot of help from nature coming over the next two weeks. If you look at the next 10 days of precipitation, remarkably dry across New England. This, of course, is an issue for where the extreme drought continues in much of northern New England. One thing I had mentioned in our insights video is the fact that with milder air coming in, at least it gives you the opportunity to put rain onto the ground rather than snow, which you have to wait for it to melt when that happens. But you'll notice in the next 10 
10 days, there just isn't a lot of opportunity for rain to come in. So it's interesting, though, because when you look at the chance of precipitation over the next two weeks, you see a pretty steady state, 30 to 50 percent going into next week. Again, this is one of those heads up on what to watch for. I think you're going to see a consolidation of the precipitation chances near when the disturbances come in. So some of these spikes that you see will continue to lead the way and probably grow in the percent chance, while the rest of the days will tend to come down from their climatological normals, and you'll end up seeing a drier period in between the disturbances that come by. If you love winter, I will say this. We talked in last week's pattern prediction about the fact that the cold was going to be disjointed. I think you see that playing out in what I just showed you. But if you look at snowfall over the next 10 days, there actually is something here to be optimistic about if you love winter. Remember, I've been telling you that you need that snowpack to expand across Canada. We are going to see that happen in the upcoming two-week period. That is not something that we were looking at over the past week going into this upcoming week. But in the second half of the two-week period, you do start to build the snowpack more across Canada. Long term, that gives you the idea that, okay, there may be a break of a couple of weeks coming without too much to write home about winter-wise here in New England, except for those cold shots on occasion. But this may set you up for a return as we get deeper into December. It at least gives you some hope of that, certainly. Just a reminder, if you like the behind-the-scenes type of stuff, you may enjoy a membership. Any of these uh, levels, you can check them out, see if they're right for you. Membership.1degreeoutside.com. Look forward to seeing you again always with more. We appreciate Appreciate you making One Degree Outside a part of your daily weather routine.